So introductions to alkene. Eh? Alkenes are the families of hydrocarbons. First is hydrocarbons. Eh? If you still remember, hydrocarbons are the compounds that contain only carbon and hydrogens. Eh? Only carbon and hydrogens only. You don't have any other elements except carbon and hydrogens. Eh? That's called hydrocarbons. And then we have two types of uh, hydrocarbons, uh, saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay, so for alkene, it has this uh, double bond, carbon-carbon double bond. Eh? So if if alkenes has this carbon-carbon uh, double bond, then alkene is saturated or unsaturated. So if it has this uh, double bond, uh, then it's unsaturated. Eh? Okay, alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbon because it has this uh, double bond eh? double bond for example okay uh, ethene this is one of the alkene eh? so it has this double bond eh? and uh, propene it has this double bond as long as it has double bond then it's unsaturated okay for saturated hydrocarbon you don't have any double bond eh? all the bonds are single bonds eh? that's for saturated saturated all the bonds are single bonds but for unsaturated hydrocarbon it has at least one double bond or triple bond. It can be triple or double bonds uh, for unsaturated hydrocarbons. Uh. But triple bond is not in our syllabus. Okay. So uh, alkenes, it has double bonds. So it's uh, unsaturated hydrocarbons. Uh. So it has double bond, unsaturated. Uh. Let's see. Okay. The general formula for alkene is CNH2N. Uh, okay. For alkene, uh, do you still remember what's the general for alkene? General formula for alkene C N H 2N plus 2. Okay, 2N plus 2. Eh? Okay, 2N plus 2. So from here we can see that the difference, eh? the difference is this one we have plus 2 and this one we don't have plus 2. Means that the difference between alkene and alkene is alkene it has uh, 2 hydrogen less than alkene. This one we have plus two. This one we don't have plus two. It means this one we we have two hydrogen less than alkene. And uh, for alkene, uh, the N start from two. Uh, okay, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and so on. We don't have alkene with one carbon. For alkene, we have uh, we have alkene with one carbon. Uh, that is uh, methane, uh, CH four. This is alkene with one carbon. Uh. But for alkene, we don't have alkene with one carbon. Okay, uh, there's a reason for that, which we will discuss later. Okay, so N uh, start from two, uh, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, let's say we have this uh, alkene with two carbons, uh, N equal to two, uh, N equal to two. Then the formula will be C two H four, right? Okay, two multiplied by two, uh, two multiplied by two, we have four. Uh, so N equal to two, and this two times two, four. Okay. When n equal to three, formula for alkene. When n equal to three, C three H six. That's good. Very good. Okay, C three H six. Okay, and then so when n equal to four, then it's a C four H eight. Uh, when n equal to five, then we have this a C five H ten, and so on, uh, so on. Okay, so that's the general formula for alkene. Uh, C n H two n the general formula for alkene. Okay. How about the functional group? Eh? The functional group. Now the functional group of alkene is this, the double bond. Eh? So the functional group is the double bond. Eh? Um, but what is the functional group? Functional group eh, is a group of atoms that bonds together, that ties together by this bond. Eh? Okay, which it will take part in the chemical reactions. Okay, means that. If there is a chemical reaction occurs, the chemical reactions will occur here. This is the place where the chemical reactions occurs. Okay, so that's the functional group. Eh? Functional group is a group of atoms uh, that will take part in the chemical reactions. Okay, and the functional group of alkene is this. Eh? So it means that when there's a chemical reactions occurs to alkene, the chemical reactions will occur here. Okay, not other place. Okay, just here. Okay, that is the functional group. Eh? And you must remember or memorize uh, the general formula and the functional group of alkene. Uh, okay. Chemical properties. Uh, this is a summary of the chemical properties. Uh. Uh, go this way. Okay. Alkene. Okay. The first two. Uh, okay. The the chemical uh, above this alkene. Uh, 
is the chemical that we use to prepare alkene. Okay, yeah, this is to prepare alkene. Eh? So uh, we use alkene to prepare alkene eh? through a chemical reaction called the cracking. So the crackings of alkene, then uh, we will get alkene. Okay, or um, we can prepare alkene from alcohol. Okay, there's a wrong spelling here. Uh, we don't have this H. Eh? Okay, so alcohol. Uh, we can use alcohol to prepare alkene and that uh, and the reaction is called dehydration eh? dehydrations hydrates or hydro means water D means remove eh? remove so remove water from alcohol so dehydration is a process to remove water from alcohol eh? okay and then we get alkene so that is how we prepare alkene okay how we prepare alkene eh? crackings of alkene and uh, dehydrations of alcohol okay uh, just now from the mind map we already see that um, alkene undergoes three chemical reactions eh? combustions additions and polymerizations okay polymerizations and um, combustions we have complete combustions and incomplete combustions eh? we will discuss that uh, later and then we have these uh, additions reactions of alkene okay additions reactions um, means we add something into the alkene eh? add something into the alkene what can be added into alkene eh? first we can add uh, halogens bromine chlorine iodine eh? so we can add halogens into alkene uh, we can add uh, oxygens eh? this one potassium magnet actually is uh, it, it provide oxygens eh? okay so we add uh, potassium magnet this potassium magnet will give oxygens to alkene eh? okay and uh, we can add hydrogens uh, into alkene we can add a uh, hydrogen halide this halide is the is from halogens eh? like bromine eh? okay bromine after uh, it combined with hydrogen it become bromide chlorine combined with hydrogen it become chloride eh? so so this hydrogen halide it, it, it include hydrogen fluoride hydrogen's chloride hydrogen's bromide and hydrogen's uh, iodide eh? okay we can also add steam steam is water eh? okay steam is a uh, water so we can add uh, water into uh, alkene okay that's the second reaction and the last one is uh, called polymerizations okay polymerizations uh, so we will also discuss the uh, polymerizations of alkene okay so that is the summary of the chemical properties of alkene name and formulas of alkene okay name and formulas of alkene we have learned that all organic compound can be named according to the number of carbon, right? Okay, name according to the number of carbon, and then we have we have uh, the code for the naming, yeah? code for naming. Uh. For example, if there is a uh, one, if there is one carbons, uh, we start with meth, right? Okay, uh, two carbons, then we start with at three carbon. Okay, proper. Four carbon, put. Okay, five carbon. Now from five and onwards, uh, five and onwards actually is uh, similar to the name of this uh, the polygon. Uh, okay, polygon. For example, uh, polygon that have five sides. Uh, we call it pentagon, right? Pentagon. Uh, so pent. Six carbon is hex. Uh, hex. Uh, and uh, we know that. Polygon with six sides uh, is hexagon, right? Hex, uh, hexagon, okay. And a uh, polygon with seven sides is called heptagon, right? Heptagon, eh? so it's hept. Hept. Eh? Polygon with eight sides, eight sides is called octagon, right? Octagon. Eh? So this one we start with oct from the molecule with five carbons and onwards okay the name is similar to the name of the polygon pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon decagon okay if you know the name of the polygon okay then you don't need to memorize so so many names okay we name all these uh, uh, organic compound according to the number of carbons in the molecule okay for alkene alkene uh, all the code uh, will follow by a suffix if you still remember, it followed by the suffix, right? And the suffix uh, is E-N-E. -E. For alkene, it's A-N-E, right? Okay, if 
alkene, the suffix is A-N-E, eh? but for alkene, the suffix is E-N-E. For example, eh? for example, uh, this one, eh? okay, this is the alkene with two carbons, right? Okay, let's write the formula first, uh, C2H4, eh? from the, the general formula is CNH2N, eh? okay, so C2H4, and uh, therefore, the name, eh? The name of this uh, alkene with two carbon is ETH, and then followed by the suffix uh, etine. etine. Okay, so that's the name for alkene with two carbons. Alkene with two carbons. Uh. Three carbons, the formula C3H6, and then we have C4H8, C5H10, C6H12. Uh, C C seven sorry, C seven H fourteen. Okay, so uh, tell me what's the name for this alkene that has three carbon propene. That's correct. This one, butene, right? Okay, butene. Okay, this one C five H ten, pentene, pentene. So uh, P E N T E N E. Okay, this is a a brand of a shampoo, right? Pantene, Pantene. Okay, it's also a shampoo brand. Okay, C six H twelve, C six H twelve, hexene. Okay, and the last one is heptene. Okay, heptene. Okay, so so that is how we name alkene. Now, this is just the general name, okay? The general name, uh, not the IUPAC name. We are going to discuss the IUPAC name later. These are famous questions, eh? okay? Usually asked in the structure questions. Eh? Explain why there is no alkene formed with only one carbon atom. So why? Why is, uh, we don't have this? C, uh, C1H2, C1H2, methene. Methene, uh, we don't have methene, okay? So why, uh, why, why don't we have methene, okay? Why? Because uh, alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbon uh, and it has this uh, functional group, the double bond, double bond. Uh, and to form the double bond, we need at least two carbon, okay? We need at least two carbon to form the Double bond, eh? okay, because a double bond cannot form between hydrogens and carbon. Okay, it must be carbons to another carbon, eh, the double bond. So we need at least two carbons to form the double bond, eh? okay? Uh, so that's why we, we can't have alkene that have one only one carbon, eh? okay? Okay, so the reason is because there must be at least two carbon atoms to form the double bond between the atoms. There must be at least two carbon atoms to form the double bond between the atoms. Eh? 